인민군의 당원도 그리고 인민군 장병들과 인민들의 다음 없는 충정과 여러 같은 경모의 마음을 담아 조선노동당의 창건자 건설자이십니다. 백전백승 조선노동당의 강대성의 상징이시며 우리 당과 인민의 영원한 수령들이신 위대한 김정일 동지께 가장 숭고한 경의와 최대의 영광을 삼가합니다. We declared a jihad, a holy war, against the United States government because it is unjust, criminal, and tyrannical. We have focused our declaration of jihad on striking at the U.S. soldiers inside Arabia. Edi Mastra, la tua tenacia, il tuo coraggio, il tuo valore. That's exactly what we're doing. We are building bridges rather than tearing them down. With a woman as leader, a lot of the funding used to fuel wars will go to rebuilding our societies and not pinning country against country. The money that sends our children, brothers, sisters, and parents away to fight for their lives will finally be brought back home. This surplus of money will be utilized to get better teachers for public schools and bring back programs that were stripped away from schooling because the government did not value public schools enough. And this money will help fuel our economy. Minimum wage will be raised. This means that the 43.1 million Americans living in poverty right now will be able to use their money and will not dread having to spend money to put food on the table for their children. Abortion is a tough topic and many people have differing opinions on it. I believe in the matriarchy party and their new approach. The new approach is simple. The government helps subsidize costs of babies. Babies are expensive and a lot of mothers have to have an abortion because they can't afford it, which isn't fair. I believe in the matriarchy party because I believe in our future and our future is our children. Together, we will reorganize what the government spends their money on and make single mothers a priority. Instead of having to get an abortion because you cannot afford to take care of your child, we will give you money and we will allow you and your beautiful baby to survive in this gorgeous nation and prosper. Instead of those children growing up in poverty or being abandoned by their parents, we will give them a future. The poverty rate will decrease. And we know that because with working mothers and fathers finally being able to take care of their children, families will be brought back together rather than torn apart as men have done for years on end. I'm Dr. Minkwitz, and the fact of the matter is men are exponentially more likely to go to jail than women. In the last month alone, 93% of inmates were male while well, only 7% were female. Women are more peaceful by nature, and their leadership would allow for less government spending on the military and more on the people. With males staying at home, they wouldn't abide in an aggressive environment. This means the crime rates would decrease nationwide. I believe in the matriarchy party because I want crime rates to go down. I want to be a stay-at-home dad. I don't get to see my son play football, and I never get to see my daughter. I want to be there for my children every step of the way when they grow up. With me in office, those children will grow up and have a life, one that every parent can only wish for their children to have. Our children are our future, because one day when we are all gone, our children will be the ones sitting at the desks and making the decisions. We will stop global warming together, because if you do not recycle, you will be fined, and there will be a tax reduction for electric cars. Together, we will see that our nation 
will be the best it has ever been. We will build bridges and not tear them apart. Together, we will stand and repair. I'm Arielle Harris, and I approve this message.